You're listening to the Productive Not Busy Podcast, where we show you how to do life in business, confident, focused, and with a plan so that you can make more money, have more free time, and less stress. Your host, Wayne Withersby, will uncover actionable hacks, strategies, tips, and insights you can use today to live a better, more productive life. It's time to boost your mindset, confidence, and your attitude. Here's your host, Coach Wayne. Today we're going to talk about long-term relationships. So long-term relationships are not built on mindset or information. They're built on action. Customers especially evaluate your consistent, persistent, predictable actions over time to determine who you really are. That doesn't matter if you're selling something, if you're trying to date somebody, it's all relative. So why long-term relationships fail? Let's talk about that first. Research pinpoints four reasons why long-term relationships never get started. The salesperson didn't take enough care about the prospect's needs or preferences or problems, right? Or... The salesperson who was more concerned with style while the prospect was looking for substance. The proposal was more of a solution for the salesperson's problem than it was for the prospect's problem. Or the salesperson didn't listen to what the prospect really wanted or failed to find a way to satisfy those needs. Trust is the key. Long-term relationships are usually established when people trust you and feel close to you. So, to build trust, you must demonstrate your professionalism, your integrity, your care, your knowledge. All that needs to come over time. So, when the competition is tough, it's easy to over-promise. But it's far better to be realistic. Nothing undermines trust faster than a broken promise. So listening to customers, okay? You show your care by listening to your customers and showing they are important to you. Your integrity is the quality of adhering to professional standards. You demonstrate your knowledge by sharing your insights. So there's some secrets to building trust. First one is truth. You give Fair and balanced presentations and clear statements of benefits. Next is dependability. Your actions fulfill your promises and they fit a pattern of dependability. Competence is the next one. You display maybe a technical command of products and services that others don't. Your intent. Okay. What is intent? Well, you're responsive and always act in the customer's best interest. Last but not least is likability. You are someone the prospect enjoys and they talk about in areas of commonality with other people, even extending to non-business topics. So there's some balances to good listing. I'm going to give you seven of those to give you a a leg up to good listing. Some salespeople practice that may destroy long-term relationships if you're not careful. They will destroy them, I promise you. This is high probability. They prefer speaking to listening. That's a big one. Remember, there's all kinds of adages. Uh, Listen twice as much as you talk, but nobody ever does it. When I say nobody, you know where I'm going with that. The next one is they're too anxious to rebut, right? They're listening to respond rather than listening to learn, okay? They allow themselves to get distracted and don't concentrate, or they jump to conclusions before all the evidence is in. They try so hard to remember everything that the main points get lost. They don't even remember why they were there. Or they dismiss much of what they hear is really just the customer doesn't know what they're talking about. I know what they need. Or they tend to discard information that they don't like. Okay. So earning trust is huge. Trust is the key to building long-term relationships, I promise. 
That must be earned and re-earned every time. If a customer trusts a salesperson, they'll tell them their needs and expectations and what they really want. But one little slip on your part, a broken promise, a false claim, that may do a lot more damage than you could imagine. It may lose a hard-earned customer forever. And when you work as a salesperson, you got to remember those clients are not your clients. They are the dealership or the owner's clients. But I'm going to give you some trust builders. These are some strong customer relationship skills that are usually built by applying behaviors called trust builders. And here's five of the critical ones. Number one, always truth. You give fair and balanced presentations and clear statements of benefits. Your product and services that you offer, okay, and you and, and they do everything that you promise they do. The proof you use to support your words is credible. All right? Anything after that, any of those events prove your statements to be true. Number two, you want to talk about dependability. Your actions fulfill your promises in a fit of pattern of dependable actions that you've established with them. You never promise what you can't deliver. Next is competency. You display technical command of the product and the applications that you are in control of. You have all the skill, the knowledge, the time, and the resources to do what you promise and what the buyer wants. Your words and actions are consistent with a professional image. That's a, that's a huge one. Okay, intent. Well, you place the customer's interest on a pair with your own. A commitment to be there, to be responsive, to always act in the customer's best interest. You won't push a product that the prospect doesn't need, and they know that. Next is likability. Prospects want to deal with the person that they enjoy. They like salespeople who are courteous and polite and make efficient use of their time. You and the prospect may share and talk about areas of other commonality, even extending into non-business topics. All right, so we're going to continue this series for the next couple of episodes. We're going to talk about uh, credibility, and we're going to talk about uh, prospect concern, understanding prospect goals, tips of opening up you know, new accounts, people that don't know you like you and trust you. Okay, that's a huge one. You can work with orphan owners. They already know, like, and trust the dealership or wherever it is that the business is that you work at. It would I would much rather deal with somebody that knows me, likes me, and trusts me out of my sphere than a total stranger. So just think about that. That is an ax that you really want to sharpen. You want to really get good at these skills. You know, I always used to tell my salespeople, no lying, cheating, stealing, thieving, or misleading. And those are blunt statements, but they also cover a wide range. You can do one of those without even intending to do it. So I hope you guys are having a great day. Be safe, take care, sell a bunch, and we'll talk soon. You've been listening to the Productive Not Busy Podcast. Please hit the subscribe and notification of new episodes button and visit us on social media like Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok for bonus content.